and every breakfast with Ona Pete and Tabile TTO. And 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 let's talk about you going to Exal. Uh what was the reason? What were the reasons for you to also maybe come back uh from from Exal? Well, I'm a proud generation of uh 76. I'm a Sowetan. Mm. In Jakutladi. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Uh, I've come from the era of Steve Biko, uh, 1976, City Machine. Mm. And at that time, I was the youngest nightclub singer in the mm. country at 14. My mm. first professional job, I'm 14 years old and working at the Pelican in Orlando. Yeah. And I, I think from there, I, I began uh, sometimes not even knowing preparation for a future in in the business i was lucky and blessed to be surrounded by the best professionals in the country mm. and learn by default and when you're in environments like that you don't know that you are learning because mm. you think you're hustling mm. <laughs> you know you're making a little money but anyway a lot of young people will live in the country between 76 and the 80s yeah. and i working at a pelican most young people were hanging out at the Pelican after a political activity. Mm. So when people were leaving the country, uh, right at Gary Hole, may he rest in peace, who was a yes. DJ at Pelican, had moved to Marseille, mm -hmm. Lesotho. And I went to look for a gig from him. And I didn't know I have to have an ID. I didn't know I have to have a passport. So okay. I left the underground rail uh, uh, route mm -hmm. with everyone that was leaving the country. And I woke up and learned I'm in exile. Mm -hmm. And well, like push on. You don't cry over. You don't miss mommy. You just say, uh, "I got a gig. Uh, I'll send money home." And you keep your hustle. And the target was America. Mm -hmm. I left South Africa in 1979 uh, with a special arrangement and ended up in D.C. and New York. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Legendary Breakfast with Ona Pete and Tabile TTO.